Hey everybody, it's Scott, Simco Spring Service, and today I want to highlight a video about how we take these seized bolts out of shackles and bushings, especially a bushing with a metal sleeve in it. It's a trick I've been using for a couple years now, and it really helps me out on a daily basis. Uh, there's two different techniques. There's one I'm going to show you right now, and the other technique is once you get the bolt moving, you can actually cut the head off and pull the bolt out the other direction. It just depends on uh, how you're trying to access the bolt and what kind of working space that you're limited in because when you're working on a truck sometimes there's not a lot of room so yeah this is how we do it okay so this one's seized up which is good because now i can show you how i take a seized up bolt out okay so i'm going to give it a shot with the ear chisel i actually have this special bit here it's just a short little guy allows me to get in real tight spots so i'm going to give it a blast see what happens hopefully it moves if not we'll do some heat cycles Oh yeah, that's gonna be hard to get out. Okay, so trick number one, heat it up red hot. So yeah, we're talking like a nice red. We gotta be careful with how much heat we pump in there because now you can see the bushing starting to smoke. And you don't want the bushing to smoke too much because then you'll melt it. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna wait. You wait about 30 seconds to two minutes depending on how much heat you're able to get into it. And then that heat will slowly draw down the bolt. Uh, this one looks like it's gonna be pretty stuck so I'm just gonna do a second heat cycle on it. Uh, the reason why we don't just keep heating it over and over again is because you'll just burn all the rubber out of there. So we're going to do another hot and fast heat cycle. We're going to pump a lot of heat into the end of that bolt and then we're going to get it glowing really good. And then that heat will then go deeper into the bolt. There you go, nice and hot. A tiny little bit of smoke, that's fine. So now we're gonna hit it with the air chisel. Uh, we're gonna give it probably another minute maybe. Oh my gosh, what happened? Oh, and just so you know, I always have a rule of thumb. Something to save, something to destroy. We're destroying the bolt so we can save the bushing. Or destroying the shackle, and we're destroying the bolt so we can save the bushing. Because if I have to change the bushing and replace it, then it's a pain. Or I got pulled a little spring out, depending on how much of a pain. So, a lot easier to sacrifice something for the greater good. It move. I think it did. Uh, moved to like a 32nd of an inch. That's like a half a millimeter. So because it moved just an ever so slight bit, we're gonna walk it back. And we're walking forward, or back, back and forward, forward and back. There we go. So now we're at an eighth of an inch, or like an entire millimeter. Walk it back. Boom. Look at that. Came right out. That's literally the best technique that you could ever use for taking out a seized bolt that's encased in a metal sleeve that's wrapped in rubber. The reason why rubber is so hard is because of the amount of energy that you put in there actually gets absorbed by the rubber. So the heating cycles allows that rust to start moving, the molecules to start getting energized and starting to cycle and move around. And then uh, because it's moving, you can now break the rust free and it can come out. It works almost every single time. It brings your bolt difficulty from like about a 10 
to like a three. <laughs> so once again, we're not gonna stop there. I'm gonna pop this down, give it a punch this way. And then we're gonna move my light out of the way. And we're gonna bring it back. Actually, Matt, do you mind grabbing that air chisel? Actually, upgrade to a longer bit. See, you always gotta have a buddy to help you out. So I'll pull this down if you wanna. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Knock that out. Nice rotten bolt. And the issue you have, I don't know if you can see it. Where's my pointer? I need something sharp and pointy. There you go, pointer. There you go. That's very, very warm. So the issue you have, and you can actually see it on the bolt here, this part is thicker, and then it narrows down to thinner, and then it goes out thicker again. So the reason why it's so difficult is because you're trying to push something that's thicker through all that rust that's narrower extremely warm so that's why it's so difficult and that's why I also walk it back and forth because every time you push it in you're gonna bind up on that rust and you got to knock it free and then it'll turn to dust and then you try to push it out again and then you just work it back and forth until all that dust turns to or all the rust so you move it back and forth until all the the, 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 the rust turned to dust <laughs> so you keep moving the bolt back and forth until all of the rust turns into dust Thinking it's my jack has a safety catch in it. All right, so there's our old shackle. Garbage. There's our new ones. We're gonna clean this out with the uh, die grinder because it's gonna have even more rust in it than the last one. So I hope that trick helped you out. I know it does help me out every single day. And uh, if you have any other questions, put them down in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, all you need is a torch and an air hammer. And you can usually get these bolts out with a couple of heat cycles like that. And uh, my gosh, does it make a difference. All right, if you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. All right, bye.